Hey everybody, Arnold Wofferman here on behalf of Global Trust America and Duratrust. Today I want to talk to you about something that really makes me angry and the solution. So, this is a totem, right? We all know the parts of a totem. We have our actual truss, I'm using the F-34, and then we have a top plate. And I drilled some of the holes in different areas depending on how I'm going to mount my light. We put this here, we put the pins and clips, and then we have our light. Now, I do a lot of events, right? And some of the events we have the lights hanging over the trussing, but then we may have them on a totem like this. So when I have a light, such as the ADJ Inno Spot LED with a clamp, this means that I gotta sit here and take these apart and all that, and that's really not a big deal, right? Taking this apart and then, well, basically sitting it on here and pray it doesn't fall. We don't wanna do that. So then that means I gotta take out the clamp, so I gotta take this out, take out the clamp, then mount that on top, put the bolt through there. That's all fine and dandy, but that can be a serious pain when you have several moving heads or when you've got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shows. You know, I, I want to avoid all that extra work. So that's one of the reasons I really hated doing totems. And in some cases, you know, Global Trust has released some great products, right? We've got the DT dyno wheel, but if I want my totem right up against the wall, the dyno wheel is not really an option. I don't always want to do an SAP mount with the bar on top because, again, it might not necessarily fit the look that I'm looking for. I want that nice, clean totem look. I want it up against the wall and I don't want a T on there. So if I'm doing that, that, I'm forced doing it this way. And then that drives me nuts. So what's the solution? It's really cool. Ta-da. Guys, check this out. This is the DTFXMT, right? I'm just gonna call it the FX mount, moving head mount, whatever you wanna call it. This is something really cool. Really simple, one of those, uh, well, why didn't this come out sooner type products? Because it's going to really speed up your workflow. So what is it? Well, it's a truss stopper. Let's get rid of this here. And we're gonna put that there. All right, it mounts in. Then we put our pins and clips like usual. I don't have to take the clamp off. I can basically leave it right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mount that in. And again, I gotta tell you, be smart always. Always use your pins and clips, but I'm mounting it here just in a test environment. There we are, nice and tight. We put our safety cable over here and you are good to go. But you know what's even better? Is that there's enough clearance here that I can basically mount uh, a floodlight and aim it straight out. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm using the ADJ 5P uh, Hex Pearl and I can either mount this now straight down to do a nice truss warmer, or I'm just gonna put this guy right over here. Obviously, we'll put our safety cables in the back, make sure it's tightened, and there you go. So now we have two lights on top of the totem, super clean, neat, pretty. How perfect is that, right? You know, what makes this even more magical for me is that at the end of the night, if I have another show, with totems, I don't have to undo all this. I'm just gonna literally just basically lift this up with the lights already attached and put it in my, uh, case, or my road case, or whatever the case may be. Very next day, pop it back in on top of the trussing. This allows me to use different totems of different heights, uh, styles, whatever the case may be. But the DTFXMT is more than just putting it on a totem and that's it. One of the things that we do a lot of, we do a lot of stage productions, right? Whether it's beauty pageants or choir recitals or even a couple of times plays, and they ask for footlights. So we'll have sometimes floods, but then the director may ask, hey, we want our, the footlights, meaning the lights on the stage, to actually move and hit different areas. Okay, so we use a moving head. So then that means I gotta take out the little mount, omega mount off the light, sit on the floor again, not a big deal, but when you have a lot of moving heads to do that to, and you've got two or three shows lined up back to back to back, you wanna shave as much time off of your setup and breakdown as possible. And again, the DTFXMT was really, uh, it was able to help us out with that. Let's take a look. Now I have my moving head slightly elevated too. It's just really nice because I can adjust it where I need it to, set it down, you're good to go. Now, if you're worried, for example, if it's gonna be a production with a lot of people and you're worried about people kicking the moving head, which I've had that before without the mount, then what you would do is you'd wanna take these out and just basically bolt this straight into the base. And that way, 
you have a nice weight on it, you're not going to worry about people accidentally kicking your moving head. Or if you're using a moving head, like a larger moving head with a lot of torque on it, you don't have to worry about the thing dancing off the stage either. This is the DTFX MT, an awesome truss stopper for your moving heads, for floods, just a really nice way of creating unique totems that you can use again and again for different shows that give you a lot more flexibility than just using a top plate. And more importantly, shave a lot of time off your setup and breakdown. My name is Arnaldo Wofferman on behalf of Global Trust America and DuraTrust. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a comment, uh, do the thumbs up, any comments, questions, leave them below, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.